Hey, what's up, guys? Check this out. I was reading this article here, and it says that 92% of people trust recommendations from individuals, even if they don't know them over their companies. So they may not know the individual, they may not even know the company, but what they do trust is they trust reviews and they trust recommendations. And it got me thinking a little bit. Right now, there's a lot of competition and we're all putting our best foot forward. And frankly, some people are probably playing an unfair game. So I started thinking about that and started looking up some other companies. I'm gonna share my screen here. Look at the information I found. So one we were just talking about uh, recently, Navy Federal Credit Union. Reviews, type that in. Second thing down, Consumer Affairs. They have 435 reviews, a one-star rating. None of them are good. That's not good. Um, you know, really good pricing route right now. Chase Mortgage Reviews. They have really good pricing right now. Um, you scroll down a little bit. 1,842 reviews. And it takes just a second to pop up. Terrible rating on consumer affairs. Less than one star all the way down. 1,800 people went out of their way to say what a bad experience they've had with Chase Mortgage. Wells Fargo. They may have great rates. They may lose their house over it. Look at that. 1.6 rating, 1,364 reviews. So then I started thinking, okay, our competition is not doing so great. And you can keep going. USAA mortgage, you know, a lot of these. There's, a, there's not good reviews for a lot of these companies. But then I started thinking, what about Service First? Service First Mortgage Reviews. And I scrolled through here. We have a great Zillow rating. We have, you know, obviously social surveys are key. But look at this. 4,732 people, our customers, you know it's our customers, give us a 4.9 rating. That's unbelievable. This article says that those people are gonna trust those reviews over anything else. But yeah, we can go Google our competition and Consumer Affairs is blasting them. What do we do about that? That's what I'm thinking is Consumer Affairs is blasting. Well, why is there no Consumer Affairs for Service First Mortgage? You know why? Because we don't give bad service. That's really the key is we haven't let our customers down, so we, they haven't gone to complain. So one of the things I challenge each one of you to do is integrate our social survey scores, individually your scores, and as a company your scores, into your pitch early, really early, and talk about some of these other companies and talk about how the market's picking up. By the way, the market's picking up. If you haven't heard, a lot of people had some really big weekends. Uh, spring break was good to a lot of loan officers. The market's picking up. Are you gonna risk your family's house, maybe not closing on your house, just to get a little bit lower rate in some cases to a company that people are blasting all over the internet? Our customers have spoken and they show you that 4.9% out of five stars is amazing. So. Trust service first, That's, this is your big tip right now. Integrate that social survey score, your individual social survey scores, right into your initial pitch, like right out of the gate. Maybe even the initial text, like great choice, thanks for calling me today. By the way, look at our social survey scores to validate uh, the decision you made to reach out to me today. I mean, hit it right out of the gate. If they go start to Google other companies, Google them yourself, you're gonna find the reviews aren't good. So. Focus on that, use our social survey as a tool. Have a great week, guys. Talk to you soon, thanks for your time.